Hey guys, it's Angie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my new setup. I have been working on this for two months now. As you might have noticed, I painted, I've done all kinds of things differently and just revamped everything. And I'm so excited to share with you what I've done. Hopefully you can find some tips, some tricks from this and just, it works really, really well considering that I have such a small space to film in. But I really, really love how it's set up. Um, the lighting is still an issue. I'm not sure if you think it's an issue, just leave me a comment below or if you think it's okay, you can tell me that too. It's the thing that I struggle with the most, but I'll show you exactly how I light everything. I'm going to show you my new desks, my new um, makeup tower of fun, and my little editing area with my computer and everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with the tour. So this is the front of my filming area. As you can see, I have the tripod kind of sandwiched between the two soft boxes. This is kind of the view that you see when you walk into my room. Um, and that is my filming area. In all of its magical, splendid glory. As you can see, we have the lights, we have the desks, we have the storage, the chair, the rug, the computer. Everything is kind of centralized in one place and I absolutely love that about my whole setup. Now I'm going to take you through each section of my setup. As you can see, this piece closest to me is called the Alex Tower and this is from Ikea. Um, a lot of people have this. I don't know if I should go into further detail. I will kind of like put links to things on the Ikea website if you want to see it. You can see, you know, if you can find something similar if you don't have Ikea or, you know, just just give you a reference kind of idea of sizes and you know, all that stuff. But this is the Alex Tower. A lot of people have this. I am super excited about it. It's amazing. It holds a lot of makeup and it holds it very well and it just keeps it very organized and, you know, the space is kind of perfect. Um, the drawer depth is really nice. It's just a really great piece for makeup. You might also notice my rug that was from Big Lots. I think I paid like $19 for it. Um, right now, when everybody's going to college and school's going back, it's a really good time to remodel and buy stuff and find really cool stuff. So I really love that rug. And then my chair came from Office Max, I believe. Um, I think it was Office Max. I got a really good deal on it too. Again, if you wait for certain times of year, you can get really good deals. Like I think I paid $59 for that chair. I'm not even sure, but I love it. And it's really kind of chic looking. So this isn't lit very well, but this is just kind of where I keep all of my skincare kind of stuff and just primers, moisturizers, setting sprays, there's some B12 vitamins there if you, you so choose. Uh, makeup removers, a brush set, I have my dirty brushes, my brush cleaner, um, just a bunch of things that I've acquired over time. Um, I don't technically use all of this stuff all at once because everything has kind of a different sort of purpose. but. Um, the container is actually from Kmart. I think I paid like eight bucks for this. It's just really nice, clear acrylic. I kind of like that aesthetic. I think it's just kind of clean and, you know, it's just clean. You can see through it and everything. So, and I do have my little mason jar for dirty brushes. It wouldn't be the south without mason jars. All right, now I'm going to go through all of these drawers on my Alex Tower, show you what's going on in them. I don't know exactly. Some of these are going to be surprises to me since it's been a while since I put them together. But um, yeah, we're just going to go through, show you how everything's set up and all that stuff. So, And here we just have some face wipes and some Q-tips and I got some brush guards in there as well. So that's kind of a meh drawer. And here we have some awesome pigments as well as some lipsticks. Um, these are some face front pigments, Glamour Doll Eye pigments. Um, Dutravor, I believe these are Dutravor. And... We have lipsticks that I don't use as much or as often. And then we have kind of like Creolan <laughs> and all the lip tars, which are amazing. Those two drawers are finito. We're down to lucky drawer number three. This is my party drawer. I like to call it my party drawer. And um, this is because there's sugar pill in here. And this is actually a palette. A lot of you guys have asked me where I got this. It was at the makeup show in Chicago like a year or two ago. And they offer these 12 pan palettes and I have all of my sugar pill in here. As you can see, little blue guy, I think that's after party. He needs to be repressed. I actually shattered bulletproof completely. I just, I don't know, I guess I threw it across the room. I don't know what I was doing, but I'm really, really bummed. I'm going to have to rebuy that. Um, that was a really great black eyeshadow. But this is how I store my sugar pill. 
pressed shadows, I um, depotted them and have them all special and ready to go. And this is actually the new palette from Sugar Pill. It is the Heartbreaker palette, and I love it. All the packaging, it just speaks to my graphic designing heart. Um, a lot of you know that I went to school for that, so, you know, to see all these beautiful packages and just the way they market, it's, it's beautiful stuff. Anytime I want color, I go to Sugar Pill. All their chromalusts. Pressed eyeshadows. I'm excited for more. I know they're going to be releasing some more, um, some more fun stuff. And then in here, I just have pigments mainly. Um, Nutrivore pigments. Uh, all my Mac full size pigments. I have <laughs> really cool like contact lens things full of pigments and just you know all kinds of stuff in here. Just pigments galore. There's some obsessive compulsive pigments. There's even pigments back here. If you can see, I don't know if you can see back in there. Let's do a little. I spy kind of work. At NYX, I don't know what's in here. We have, oh, this is kind of the surplus makeup drawer, as well as, you know, some awesome makeup stuff. These are pigments that I plan to give away very soon. And I have my Magnolia makeup stacker. And I have some other little random things like pressed powders and e.l.f. palettes and fingernail stuff. I love these so much. And then I have all these Milani eyeshadows that are gorgeous. I really love Milani. It's one of my favorite like drugstore brands. And I highly recommend them. I mean, just look at this. Look how beautiful. It's so beautiful and pretty. I love it. So let's see if we can shut this. I'm not sure. But I will be giving away some of these Urban Decay things soon. I kind of stockpile stuff for prizes and Kind of forget I have it. Next, we have some more fingernail stuff. We have some sponges. We have some more of these things. I found these for $3 at this store called Five Below. I'd never been there, and it was freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm glad I got out of there before I spent more than $20, though, because I could see myself spending a whole, whole lot of money in there. But anyway, we have some more face front products. We have these, which are great for stippling. We've got some Ben Nye. We got some fake fingernails, because I'm rocking the fake fingernails lately. And um, there's some Embryo Lease back there, a Clarisonic cleansing head, another sponge, the Prism Cake from Prisma Cake <laughs> from Meron. One of my favorites. Just a lot of fun little kind of catch all drawer. This one is my lipsticks and extra brushes and a sewing kit, apparently, and a pug. Keychain thing. It's totally put. Anyway, yes, I found these cool organizer things at the container store. I bought them online. I love them. The whole 24 lipsticks piece or lip glosses, whatever your heart decides to put in them. And um, there's a Kat Von D palette, a Snazaroo face paint, an extra eyelash curler, a sewing kit again, <laughs> extra brushes. I don't particularly like those brushes for foundation. I just don't. Like them, I will use them for like putting on moisturizer or something on clients or face mask too. I mean, yeah, but that's that drawer. This just seems to be an extra drawer. These are some of the beads that I use in my brush holders. Peppermint oil. <laughs> um, the pug from Pocahontas. One of my friends at work gave that to me. It's actually a finger puppet, but um, it's a pug. Extra um, glitter liners, things like that great lash. I love that little lots of lashes, especially for your bottom lashes. And it came with the baby lips too, which I like. And down here we have Eyelash Central. I have a bunch of eyelashes in here. Um, technically one day it is my dream to fill this up. And hopefully that will happen sooner than later. But I really like eyelashes and I think that shows because they have a whole drawer. <laughs> and down here we have hair spray colored stuff. And then we have my little beautiful thing of glitter. We have some elf beauty books and some skewers. I don't know why I bought those or why they're in here, but they're there. I think I did like fingernails or something on them somehow. But that is the last drawer of the Alex Tower. All right, here we have all of my brushes, my little brush garden of fun. As you can see, I have three little square containers and then the little skull guy, glass skull container, vase, I don't know what to call it. I found it at Ross for like seven bucks and I had to have it. So I filled it with a little floral bead that you can buy at Michael's and um, works really well for the brushes. 
I love having my brushes all ready to grab and go. Um, as you can see, the skull has all the face brushes. I thought that was appropriate. And um, the first square box closest to the skull has kind of blending brushes, like 217s, or like, you know, just crease brushes, kind of things like that. Then the middle um, container has more detailed work, has some like eyeliner brushes, eyebrow brushes, uh, just finer kind of detailed brushes. And then the last one has kind of shader brushes, just brushes you use to pack on color, you know, that kind of thing. So I, I can easily grab whatever brush I need depending on my need. Moving down from the brushes, I have this drawer which has mostly face products as well, just products that I use for like priming my eyelids, you know, blushes, bronzers, foundations, mascaras, eye drops, um, chapstick, just anything and everything is kind of in the store. These are the kind of most used products that I use, mainly for the face, as I said, and just, it really works for me. I have the acrylic um, organizers are from Kmart as well. I think I paid like mm, $3.99, $4.99, something like that for those. And I love them. I like the way they look. And I also put that uh, non-slip stuff in here so things don't just like fly around. And you know, I have my foundations, my concealers, powders, blushes, and everything and anything under the sun. I really like this drawer. And I really like how easy it is to get to. Again, that was the whole um, goal in this whole remodel was to have everything you know, easily to get to and not have to, you know, hunt and search for everything. So that is this drawer. So this is the last drawer in my desk and um, I wanted to keep it very simple and I wanted to keep products that I use every day and just things that I know that I'll need if I'm filming a video or whatnot. Just, you know, things that are easy to grab and that you need. So there's a hairbrush in case, you know, my hair is not behaving. Uh, I got my flash palette, I've got some hair ties, I've got some bobby pins. Anything and everything, um, eyeshadow palettes for kind of everyday wear. I have all of my lip stuff here. Lip liners, lip glosses, some of the um, Milani lip flashes that I love so much. I've got eyeliners, I've got liquid liners, and just, you know, anything and everything that I would use on a daily basis that I can just easily grab is in this drawer. Right here you have my mirror, and I think I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond, fairly cheap. And I have a little sketchbook if I need to sketch down some ideas. As you can see, I have a little bit of a nautical theme going on right there, so if you can maybe maybe hint at a tutorial or something, maybe. I don't know. Then I also have a book from Mark Ryden's Blood exhibit. He did a, a show, I don't even know what year it was, but it has some of my favorite paintings in it, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. He's one of my favorite um, painters, so I love having this book of all of his, you know, stuff. I love him so much, so that's Mark Ryden. And then a remote control for my camera. Then I also have this little camera. And I take pictures with it mostly, but it can film in HD. It's really kind of nice to have something so small that you can take with you to film. Especially if you do YouTube videos. But that's the Canon PowerShot Elf 300HS. Here's my monitor. As you can see, all the sugar pill goodness. I got this wallpaper off of Beautylish. They had like a little post about all these awesome pictures of sugar pill stuff. So. Like that's really pretty and it's makeup and I'm gonna put it on my desktop and I did clean up my desktop it was kind of covered <laughs> in folders and pictures and all kinds of things but I've cleaned it up getting ready for Halloween uh, it takes a lot of memory it takes a lot of space and I like to have a lot of space to work with so that's why my desktop looks fairly neat and organized usually it's not the case <laughs> then I have um, an electric pencil sharpener because I do draw a lot and we have some uh, tissues for when I cry about how good my videos are. <laughs> Just kidding, okay? Just kidding, guys. Some people will be like, God, she's so conceited. I'm really not. And then we have a little external hard drive for all of the video files. HD files are mega, mega huge. So I use that to store some of them and have them all handy. And it kind of frees up your computer as well, so that's awesome. And I have my mouse and my keyboard and then this awesome lamp for my key as well. I paid 12 bucks for that. I was so happy because it dims and it's just kind of, it, it creates kind of an ambient light. It's not really bright, bright light like these, these softbox lights are really bright in your eyes. But when you're editing, you want like, you know, some ambience going on. And then under here we have my actual computer. It is a Mac desktop. It has a modem on top. I love this computer. It is my dream computer and I couldn't be happier with it. Um, 
really honestly. Let's see what's in this drawer. I'm kind of kind of scared. Let's see what's in this drawer. Oh, stamps. I'm kind of into stamps lately. I've been learning how to do that. Not that it's hard to learn how to do stamps, <laughs> but these are different. They're like clear blocks that you kind of attach. See these clear blocks here? You attach stamps to them and you can make them look how you want to. Really exciting. Really exciting stuff here, guys. And then, like a circle stencil, I've got some Excedrin migraine because I have migraines and this seems to be the only thing that works. Uh, pencils, um, tortillons, blending stumps, if you will. Some index cards, a little bit of colored pencils, got some pens, got some pestits, got some scissors, anything and everything you need, kind of office related, is in here. I have address books and um, post its and everything. So. Okay guys, that's it for my filming area, my editing area, my makeup organizational area. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have missed you guys so, so much. Um, you're going to be pretty much bombarded with videos coming up very soon. We've got Halloween coming up and we all know Halloween is my thing. And I look forward to making this videos for you guys. Um, again, we're going to have a lot of fun this season. I have a lot of fun things planned and now that my setup is exactly the way I want it, I will be able to do things that I've wanted to do. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are doing awesome. Again, I miss you and I will see you soon. Bye guys.